Again, that I would do, if I was doing this, is I would rewrite my function with rational powers. Okay, And then I notice that I have a product, so I'm going to apply the product rule. Now again, I'm just going to apply the product rule generally, and then I'll look to simplify. So if I'm going to do f prime of x using the product rule, that's going to be the derivative of x, which is 1. Second product, so that'd be our second expression, 1 minus x squared raised to the 1 half, plus my first term times the derivative of my second. Now again, this is just using the chain rule. So I bring down the 1 half, and I have 1 minus x squared, and then 1 half minus 1. Subtracting 1 is going to be a negative 1 half. And then that's times the derivative of the inside, which is a negative 2x. But what you guys have seen on your last test we gave you, the answer, the multiple choice answer doesn't look like that, does it? Right? So we have to apply some simplifying. And usually what we mean by simplifying is, at least for multiple choice, is going to be you know, combining you know, like terms, getting some like terms combined, getting fractions with uncommon denominators. So let's just simplify this a little bit. Um, so we'd have f prime of x is just going to equal 1 minus x squared raised to the 1 half. Over here, we're going to have this is a negative power, so that's going to be in the denominator. Um, we have x times x, so this is negative 2x squared over 2 times 1 minus x squared raised to the now positive 1 half because I put in the denominator. Does everybody see how I got to this point? Now, obviously, we see that those 2's divide out, right? So we're just left with the really x squared over this. So therefore, this, our common fractions, if I want to get these together, I've got to find the common denominator. Well, the common denominator is 1 minus x minus 1. So that's what I'm, sh that's what I'm sh shown doing. 1 minus x squared raised to the 1 half. And I multiply that on both sides. Now again, guys, remember, when you multiply, when you multiply exponents, you know, x cubed times x squared equals x to the 3 plus 2, right? These quantities are exactly the same, so you just add the powers. So what's 1 half plus 1 half? 1. So f prime of x is just equal to 1 minus x squared raised to the first power. You guys can see how that's really not needed, right? So we just erase. We don't really need all that. Plus x squared all over my common denominator, which is 1 minus x squared raised to the 1 half. Notice how the negative x squared and the positive x squared add to 0. So my final answer is 1 over 1 minus x squared raised to the 1 half. Okay. Anybody have any questions on that?